So I've been making videos recently about, um, you know, project-based learning and real learning. And um, this video is one of many in sort of a segment about learning what's required for your career and how to learn it. And I've been, you know, putting the kibosh on a lot of these for education uh, alternatives out there. And a very relevant question came up. What about Hack the Box? What about Try Hack Me? What about... Uh, the Kubernetes equivalent, I forget the name of it. Het Tanis uses that all the time. I love it. And the answer is somewhat the same for all of them, but more particularly true for Hack the Box to Try Hack Me. Okay. Um, so, and, and you're right. You're asking about, so, so we're, we're, there's actually three different careers that are involved in that question. So let's break it down. I got my hoodie on. So we'll talk about the cybersecurity profession and what that involves. And if hack the boxes try hack me, which are specifically for cybersecurity, what are they? Are they good? Right. Um, and it's super important because I mean, the beginning of this entire segment that includes this video and several others is learning the right, you know, finding the right learning resources for the career that you have targeted. I'm going to say it again, please, please, please watch the video about targeting your career before you launch down the path of learning or you'll do like I did. I, I signed up for hack the box. I, I, I did the Twitch thing. I was convinced I was going to get my OSCP. And then I found out what it actually meant to be. I did a video about this, what it actually meant to be a cybersecurity expert, which is mostly reports 50% at least. And I was like, damn, I don't want to do that. And I changed. So please make sure you understand that cybersecurity is the path for you before you commit to something like hack the box and try hack me. So Having said that disclaimer, <laughs> better yet, still um, that I want to talk about that only, right? So the question about DevOps and 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 Kubernetes and op, those are those are not cybersecurity, okay? They are administration and, and operations sorts of things that I believe quite quickly and spoiler alert can be more better <laughs> learned by building your own lab, building your own Kubernetes lab back here is better, right? But can you do hack the box types of things and try hack me things on your own lab? Not as well. Okay. So again, we're talking about several careers here and I want to disambiguate them up front so that you know, when I talk about hack the box and try hack me, I'm talking very specifically, extremely specifically about cyber security. Cyber security is one of those only things where you cannot learn it really uh, without having something to hack. So, I mean, honestly, right? You've got to create something to hack. Now, and most of the time, when you're talking about having something to hack, if you, in the old days, before Hack the Box and Try Hack Me existed, you know, old school hackers like me, and believe me, my skills are nowhere near anybody lately. I mean, yeah. You know, most of the, the, you would have to create a system that had the vulnerabilities, which is really fun, by the way. It actually is really fun. So the, the short answer is yes, hack the box and try hack me are worth the money. They're worth the investment. Uh, we're making a video right now. I'll answer the Linux Jedi question in a second. So um, the answer is I specifically hack the box. Uh, oh, I, there are videos, if you go search on my YouTube, of me doing try hack me. And so in order to be a hacker on hack the box and try hack me they created these um these these programs there's there's like a track for learning linux it's absolutely the at least when i did it i did the try hack me like segment on linux it's abysmally bad and it demonstrates a fundamental lack of understanding the unix operating system and the philosophy in general in fact some of the errors were so glaringly bad that it was it became comical and you can probably go dig up my youtube one of my thousands of youtube videos someplace in there is me doing try hack me um there's over the wire which is also learning about linux and stuff and hacking and hack the box and it's fun and all but it's not like you're going to get a job doing it one of the reasons that i actually have to put hack the box and and to some degree as well to try hack me but especially hack the box into the category of valuable worth the money learning is because they not only do they provide a number of real systems that you actually hack using a vpn remember that whole thing about being real 
the systems in try hack me and hack the box are actual systems they might be containerized doesn't matter they are actual systems the things that you do when you hack against a system on hack the box are exactly the same things that you would do otherwise this is not the same as free code camp for web dev or code academy for web dev or some gamified crap out there that's helping you learn a thing without doing the thing this is the thing right so when you hack the box you are literally hacking the box a box you're they're setting a box up with the vulnerabilities for you they're doing the kind of thing that you would have done for yourself which is to set up a box and put a bunch of vulnerabilities on it and and then you're and the thing is so cool about hack the box and, and to be fair i don't have anything to do with them uh, I still have a professional hack the box subscription, which I paid in advance for, even though I don't use it that much because I'm spending too much time making these and doing bike videos. Um, but, but, but yeah, there's, there's, um, in fact, it used to be that hack the box, uh, you couldn't even get on unless you hacked, you had to hack in to get an account and they changed all that. Um, but it is tremendously valuable, um, to use something like hack the box. Um, there's, and so the answer there is I actually think it's phenomenally awesome. The reason I think Hack the Box is awesome is because it is not in the category of for education crap that's, you know, not the real thing. It's the real thing. And in order to hack it, you have to install the tools to do that, whether the tools are Kali or you, you set up your own arch distro and put your own stuff in there or you're using Parrot or, or you know, you're, you're gentooing your own way into, you know, hacker happiness. You are using real tools and you're hacking real systems. And in order to hack any system these days, pretty much almost all of the hacking involves, you know, a, a network connection. So having the boxes be on the Internet someplace over a VPN, a virtual private network, which you need to really fundamentally understand if you're going to be a hacker, every single skill down to setting up the VPN and getting it to work and installing all the tools onto your own system for, to do the hacking, every single one of those skills is real. That is the short answer. That is the reason that Hack the Box is a very, very good thing. It's my favorite of all of them, by the way, far far more uh, uh, robust than Try Hack Me, in my opinion. I haven't done Try Hack Me, to be fair, in two years at least. Um, and, and again, so, so that's the answer. Um, if you are doing Hack the Box, there is a kind of a follow-up question to this, and I'm just going to lump it into here. Somebody asked about capture the flag games. Um, there are a number of capture the flag sites um, and opportunities out there. You got to kind of define what capture the flag is. Um, if capture the flag is going into bringing your tools, your real tools. I mean, you know the answer here, right? If you bring real tools to a hack the capture the flag competition and you use those tools to, to, to capture the flag and win, then yeah, it's a great thing. If it's too contrived though, like seriously, like I remember Carnegie Mellon put um, on one of their things, they they had this like, they, they put this this really horrible, um, uh, uh, I want to I can't remember the name of it. They, they This really horrible like front end game engine uh, on the front of their, their it, was, it was targeted at, at junior and, and, and high school kids. And they put this like really horrible like gamified front end on the hacking part of it uh, to try to motivate people to use it. And it was just disastrously bad. It just distracted from the whole thing. So I want to be really careful here. If you're doing a capture the flag and they put themselves under a capture the flag officially. Um, and, and so, so yeah, if, that's how you know it's real or not. Right. So educators, unfortunately, um, they tend to like to make things fun. I think the best, the, the, in terms of making it fun, is still useful and real. The best you can really do, we used to have a competition uh, at Skillstack. Um, it wasn't really hacking. What I told everybody, I said, okay, everybody, you, you all need to add uh, an account to your system. You had to add a Unix account to your system that has uh, the following you know, password to it. And I forced them all to make their, their machines vulnerable temporarily. And then we had a competition to see if you can keep the other person out of your box. How can you shut down their processes when they make a connection? How can you write uh, a shell script loop to keep them out? How can you notice when, they, when they've attacked you? How can you sneak a back door in before they catch you and all this stuff? And it was really fun. And it was all very, very real. 
and then, then we rolled back the systems and took the accounts off the system and that qualified as sort of a capture the flag kind of you know hacker competition it was tremendously fun we would put the you know the hacker music on and we would just go to town having fun hacking each other with hack the you know in the hack the box kind of way except for it was like us versus another so hack the box is a really great thing again i have nothing to do with them uh, if, if the hack the box people happen to come across this video, good job. It's been a long time since I've done any of your, of your stuff. And maybe someday I'll start when I, when I get back into it. But if you're going specifically, if you're going into cybersecurity, do hack the box. If you're not, it's not worth your time. Seriously, if you're going to go into operations or DevOps or software development or web dev or any of these other amazing tech career or AI or machine learning, any of the thing, God, Hack the Box is completely irrelevant. This is only relevant specifically. And by the way, I would give Hack the Box your money before I gave something like Offensive Security your money. Offensive Security is an amazing tool as well. I'll do a separate video about that completely um, if you're going to go into cybersecurity specifically. So that's the answer about that.